Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make custom PVC pipe escutcheons. This is something that I have done for decades, going back many years to when I made a living as a kitchen and bathroom remodeler. I've never seen anyone do this. I'm sure there are people who are doing what I'm going to show you, but I've never seen it. You know, I'm sure, that you can buy escutcheons, chrome escutcheons, uh, PVC escutcheons, and right here is a picture I took at Lowe's not too long ago showing a large selection of chrome escutcheons. Escutcheons are, of course, a cover to trim off a pipe that comes through a wall and they um, cover any irregularities in the cutout where the pipe comes through. They trim it off. They make it look nice. Yes, you can buy escutcheons. They're kind of pricey, getting more pricey all the time, and they don't make them like they used to. The quality is low, but I guess that's the case with about everything. The point here is that you can make escutcheons with PVC, like I'm going to show you, for situations where you can't buy escutcheons. For example, I don't think you can buy an escutcheon that will fit tightly around a two inch PVC pipe. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can. But you can make one like this, and it can fit like the proverbial glove right around that pipe. This pipe right here is the size of a pipe I have in my attic that comes up through the floor and goes over to a main stack. And where it comes up through the floor, there's an irregular uh, cut, okay, in the flooring. It doesn't look that great, but this right here is the escutcheon I made for that application. So what I wanna do now is show you a couple other instances recently where I've made custom escutcheons. And this picture right here that you're looking at is a sink base in an apartment that I own. And the base, uh, floor of the base was really rotted. So I put a piece of 1 8 inch PVC in the bottom and I made custom escutcheons around each of the pipes, which, and I replaced the plumbing. That's a, a beautiful finished job right there compared to what it looked like before. Now, right here is another picture of a custom escutcheon that I made. This is around two water lines, a hot and a cold main lines coming into my addition. Instead of coming through the floor, they're actually coming through the wall. I could have left that unfinished, but that's just not the way I like to do things. I like to have it finished off. I could have finished the drywall around those pipes. Uh, that would have looked okay for a while, but it's not the same as a nice escutcheon. The escutcheon is a better job. Let's uh, close up here. I'll show you how I make these escutcheons. Material first, as I think I mentioned, this is 1 8 inch thick, flat PVC stock. You can buy this on uh, eBay. You can buy it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. You can get it in different sizes. And if you watched my video made a couple years ago about the PVC carpenter square, this is one. I've got another. Um, that's the same material. I'll put a link to that video down below. That is a really handy tool. Uh, same material. Now you can use HDPE, 1 8 inch flat uh, stock HDPE if you want. It's a little bit different to work with, but um, it's basically the same in the end. It looks the same. Now to cut the outside circle, if that's what you want, I do it on the table saw. You could use a hole saw for these smaller diameters. You know, get just use the hole saw and get that. But I use a table saw and I have a video for those who haven't seen it yet, how to cut small circles on a table saw. You're looking at a picture here of uh, when I cut these. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. That's the easiest way to cut the outside diameter, whatever outside diameter you want or need. After you have cut the outside diameter, it's not going to be smooth all the way around. You need to uh, deal with it. You need to make it look better. And I like to use just a utility knife and you scrape it along like that. It gives it a little round over, gets rid of the looseness there. This is uh, easy material to work with, this PVC. 
okay? And do that on both sides. And you could take a file if you wanted. That has to be cleaned up. That outside edge, uh, that isn't it completely, but I have done it here. And it looks, uh, it just feels and looks really good. It's going to require some attention. That's, that's the point. Now, when it comes to the inside hole, the critical uh, dimension that you need uh, for the inside hole, you can use a hole saw. That's one option. You can use the hole saw to make the hole. And if the hole saw is exactly the size that you need for your pipe, well, then you're all set. And you would, uh, you would just uh, clean the hole up a little bit. Same same principle with the with the knife like that. You can also go like that very carefully. So for the larger diameter holes, and this like this and this, you you go with a hole saw. All right. But sometimes the hole saw isn't the exact size. In this instance, I want this to uh, go with this, and it doesn't. It's ever ever so slightly too small. And there's an easy way to fix that. And that easy way is with a deburring tool. Right here, a deburring tool. Very handy. You get it on the inside and you go around like this, very lightly. I hope I'm not obscuring your view, but uh, you just go around it um, without digging into it. You're just taking a little See that peeling up and uh, you just do that until it fits. Look at that. Custom, beautiful, custom fit. Deburring tool. It works on the inside very well. It's, it doesn't work on the outside very well. Now, one more thing before we go to the smaller diameter holes, which are uh, really easy to make. I need to tell you that there is a simple way to hold these small pieces when you drill with your hole saw. And this is it right here. Just uh, take yourself a block of wood. You can see I've used this a lot. And, um, and uh, put a couple washers there and that will hold this, that circle. It'll hold it firmly while you use the, uh, your drill press, I assume. The drill press is better than just a regular drill, but a, if you don't have a drill press, a regular drill motor will do the job for you. Let's talk now about making these smaller diameter holes. Well, I've already showed you that this is for that pipe nipple right there. Now, I have another pipe nipple right here that doesn't fit. It's ever so slightly bigger than the hole. So what would I do? I would just get out the uh, deburring tool and, and this pipe would fit in. We're talking custom here. This is just half inch copper and look at that. How do I get a perfect uh, hole for that half inch copper? I'm gonna show you in a moment. And here is three quarter inch copper. And is that the hole or is that the hole? Oh, this must be the hole. Ah, there we go, custom, very tight. And there is a simple tool for doing this. All these different size, smaller holes. That tool is right here. It's a step drill. This is a good one. This is an Irwin Unibit, and it will make a hole a 1 16th inch up to 7 eighths of an inch. And in, this is a wonderful tool. And it, that's how I made these holes right here. I'll just show you how this works. This is, uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, to make these holes, this is going to go with this um, pipe nipple. So what I need, 13 sixteenths is perfect. I'm sure you're familiar with these step bits. Great tool, I'm getting close. Uh, you, the numbers are right here. And uh, I don't want to go all the way. I just want to go to the next to the last stop, and that is it right there. And then I'm going to come from the other side right there. Okay, and then we'll see if our pipe fits, and it does right there. Isn't that something? That's step bit right there. That's the perfect tool 
for the job. That's how you make these custom escutcheons. Those are all the little tricks and tips and information that you need. And I'm going to go up in my attic now and put this escutcheon on that pipe. Now, the pipe is already installed. How do you get this around a pipe that's already installed? In other words, I can't, I, I, I don't have an open end to get it onto. Well, what you do is you put a slice in it. Just uh, score that and go again. I don't have to go all the way through, I'm just making it, just scoring it, and then I can see that. So that's gonna go right around that pipe. Okay, so for those who have followed my house addition build, you've never seen the attic, and this is it. The original house does not have an attic, so this is really something special. My wife's delighted. We, we got uh, space to store things. There's the apple dishes. There's our pipe right there. Goes to the main stack. It's a vent pipe. I really couldn't get it off of this floor. It had to go there. So let's uh, put our scutcheon on there. Maybe I'll sit down and uh, we'll focus right there. And we'll take our scutcheon and put it right into place. See that? Well, that's nice. Custom. Beautiful. Mark that off my list. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.